to win the race. It's just whether or not they can get into that place around the first bend. Favourite off the inside, Edie Bale, the daughter of Dinah Lachlan, and they're set to bounce now. Green light for race 10. They're ready to go. Set. They're racing, and Edie Bale began well. King Kaboom was out very, very quickly, though. He's going to come across and lead Edie Bale, and then Nash Bale, who's just getting buffeted around with seven ounce and wider out Weblet Cruiser. Now making ground, then Nash Bale back behind Sugar Violet with Kanji Uganda and Roxy Uzo last. Down the back, and King Kaboom the leader. Out by three lengths to Weblet Cruiser, the one starting to finish off, and then about a length, Edie Bale and seven ounce running on as well. It's King Kaboom all out, grabbed by Weblet Cruiser, late seven ounce. So Jimmy Shaw Quinella here. Weblet Cruiser went on to win it. Weblet Cruiser by a length, seven outs, and third. Edie Bale down the middle ahead of King Kaboom. He just put the white flag up late. Then Sugar Violet being followed by Kanji Uganda, Nash Bale, and Roxy Uzo at the end. It's a rough Jimmy Shaw Quinella, 30 and 38. The winner at 40s and the runners up at 20s. Number five's won it, Weblet Cruiser. We'll put the binoculars on Jimmy Shaw here. He'll have a smile from... Uh, Side to side. Look at him. He's got some swagger as well as he wanders back. A rough Quinella. It'll pay anything. Number five's one at Weblet Cruiser has beaten the four seven outs who was storming home the last 50. And Edie Bale into third. But five the winner. And that's Weblet Cruiser. Number five, the son of Kinloch Bray, Weblet Rose. Raced by the Weblang Syndicate prepared by Jimmy.